Yes. So what is the use of production version? So first of all, try to understand production version is going to be used for three applications. First is uh, your scheduling. Scheduling means what? Understanding production order start date end date because you are having different bomb and routing combination. See, if you go to this, you can here understand production planning and capacity planning. Everything is, depends upon the number of production. Okay, so you have, you have to produce one thousand pieces. You can use this. If you have to produce uh, more than that pieces, one thousand five hundred pieces per day, you can use this routing. And if his production rate is two thousand, so you can use this routing. Now I'm giving you this orally. Let us understand with example. Suppose here you are able to manufacture one thousand pieces. So how much pieces you can prepare in a uh, your working day? So assume you are having twenty five working days. Only Saturday or Sunday one day is a holiday, right? So you know every month approximately you have twenty five days. Okay, twenty five days per month. So how much you are able to manufacture here? Twenty five multiply by one thousand, right? Per day. So you can manufacture twenty five pieces per month. Everybody agree? In this routing, yes. What what will be the answer for this? Here we are going to manufacture thirty seven thousand pieces per month, right? Okay, and here we are able to manufacture twenty five into two thousand, so almost five thousand pieces per day, per month. Sorry, this is per month output. Okay. Now suppose you get a production order requirement that you have to manufacture uh, twenty thousand pieces. Twenty thousand, okay. Twenty thousand material we have to manufacture. Which production line is suitable for this manufacturing? Post production. All are suitable. All are eligible. All all are eligible. You are right, Bunny. All three lines are very much eligible to manage two thousand pieces, but system should select. Now suppose there there are two thousand pieces, those quantities there. Another quantity is uh, suppose thirty five thousand. Okay, there are three product material order. Okay, for this material there are three production order. Okay, is it right thirty twenty thousand thirty five thousand and last quantity. Is Forty-seven thousand. So tell me, in that case, which production line is suitable? Which routing is suitable for which uh, quantity? Third line. Third line for for this line, which routing? Third one. Third one. Routing three is suitable for this. Routing one. Uh, right. Two two. Sorry. Routing two, and for this routing one. How you are able to understand? You are understanding in the month. I this man, line can manufacture twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand pieces. My production order order quantity is twenty thousand only. So it is better. I should go with routing number one. Okay. So what is routing one? So routing one is available already. So I can go with the my first production version PV one. That is a combination of bomb and routing. Routing one and bomb one, right? So I will use this routing first because there is a quantity is less. Second, you can go with this because this routing is having a limit of thirty five thousand quantities there, and we can manufacture on this line thirty seven thousand five hundred. And I can give the my last order to the this production line, uh, this routing, so that which can manufacture forty seven thousand product pieces, okay, in a month. Because these two lines are not eligible, their limit is thirty-seven thousand. This limit is only twenty-five thousand. So, based on this limit and all, you can select a proper production version for the production order creation. Now, okay, are we clear? What is the use and how production version is going to be applicable? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, with the help of this production version, uh, uh, this different different routing, we can have production version selected. Okay. Now, one more important thing. Uh, ultimately, we have to use this production version for costing purpose. Okay. Okay. So, if you check your material master, okay, we go to material master. So, 
Now here we talk about best production version, right? Here we talk about which is the best production version. And so best production version effect with eight. Okay. But if you are a manufacturer, so what is your expectation? You can manufacture a product with any of this combination, right? Either these, these, this or that. But whenever you want to have a profit, what you will say, I will select whatever is my maximum costing production version. I will select, I will say this is my manufacturing cost. And based on that, I will add some profit plus some profit. And then it will be my final selling cost, right? Okay, so every time I understand my PV01 is, is most costly uh, production version, okay, where cost is seven rupees. So what I have decided, whatever T I manufacture, I always say consider this production version should be selected for my calculating my production or manufacturing cost. This production version one, okay. So whenever product cost rollup is happen, okay, they require some production version or they require some bomb and routing. Okay, with the help of that bomb and routing, uh, finance team take cost roll up. You know that in every company, after every uh, three months or six months or yearly, or some company monthly taking cost roll up. Okay, that is not your job, but try to understand. The costing is happening on every month or quarterly or depends upon company to company. Okay, so they used to take out, they, they used to carry out the costing. So if you go to costing one view, the costing tool me sorry so you can see here future cost current cost previous cost so in this fiscal year suppose what is current cost this month what is the cost is running for month of july what is the cost they will find it out in month of june or last okay uh, in previous month what was the cost that is updated over here okay if you are taking monthly cost roll up and suppose in future in august what is you going to be the cost you can update it over here okay so this is the way they can have three different types of cost available. Okay. Okay. So to get this cost, you are having, I will, one provision is given, which form, which quantity structure you have to use for uh, this calculating the cost. So you can provide alternate bomb one, you can provide up details over here. Okay. Let me go for slash and zero two. Okay. Okay. If I go to costing one, the costing tab one. Here I can update my alternate bomb one. Okay, bomb usage one. This production version data you can see the group counter. Okay, and group number. So what is your group number? Slash and this is your group number. All these details you can update over here, or simply you can say which is the best production version you want to select. You can go to production version. And you can select the best production version. This is TV01. I want to use this. Okay. Okay, so you can select the best production version PV01. PV01. And always costing will happen on that production version. This might be your interview question. What is the application of production version? Why we are using production version? So, ultimate understanding is that cost is going to be played with your production version because production version is a combination of routing and bomb. Okay, production version. Is a combination of bomb and routing. Okay, this is your bomb and this is routing. What this bomb is going to give you? It will give you direct material cost. Agreed? Everybody agreed? Your raw yes. material cost is coming from bomb. If your bomb change, cost is going to change. Suppose sugar is thirty rupees per kg, and B two the sugar cube is almost forty rupees per kg. Okay. It is going to make difference, right? It is going to play vital role, direct metal cost. Tea, okay, this will, tea powder is cheaper compared to tea bag. 
milk is common, water is not there. So overall costing of this direct material cost for B2 and direct material cost for B1 is going to be different. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And here routing is what? Routing is nothing but you from routing what we found setup time, machine time, labor time. Okay. All the setup time, machine time, labor time multiply by the activity type means rate of that activity. So it will give you the manufacturing cost. We learn this in work center and routing, right? Everybody agree? Manufacturing yes. cost is coming from your? Yes, sir. Routing. So here you get manufacturing cost. Here you get the direct metal cost. And with the combination of both of them, you finally get the total cost of the product. What is the metal cost? Manufacturing cost plus metal cost plus expenses plus uh, profit. Okay. Overheads plus pro profit is equal to manufacturing cost or final cost, right? So for calculation of that cost, we can use the production version. And the production version is the best thing because it's give the bomb and routing combination. So for this bomb combination, cost is different. This is different. This is different. So ultimately, we are having different production version, different cost. So we can decide which is the best production version, which we can select for costing. And based on that, we will do the costing and we will do the rest of the planning. Okay. I hope it is clear. Yes. Okay. And yes. one more thing. This production version in ECC, okay, is only mandatory for repetitive manufacturing and process industry. We are going to learn three types of industry, discrete, process, and repetitive. Out of that, only for repetitive and uh, process industry, routing is mandatory. Routing is not mandatory in ECC for discrete manufacturing. But now in ECC, uh, Escor HANA, it has become mandatory for all these three types. Either it is discrete, repetitive, or production, uh, sorry, or process industry. So that is the reason we are taking this as a, our important master data. Okay. So now henceforth you can say production version is also one of the important master data. And in S4 HANA, it is mandatory. So we are taking it as a part of our master data. Is I'm not going to teach you separately in when the pro, uh, we are going for repetitive animation. At that time also I will show you. Okay. I will re-emphasize on that. Okay. But you have to understand now production version is an important master data. It is not only required for uh, your discrete and repetitive, but it is mandatory now for your, uh, sorry, discrete also, discrete manufacturing also it is mandatory. It is not only for REM or post industry. Okay. Clear? Everybody? Are we good? Aditya, Akshay, Pani, Sagar, clear? Yes. Sir. 